Welcome everyone! In today's video, we are diving into an interesting topic – how to use Azure SQL or Microsoft SQL databases with Django. If you are a Django developer, you probably know that out of the box, Django doesn't support these databases. But don't worry, I'll show you exactly how to make it work. Django is a powerful framework, but it natively supports databases like PostgreSQL, MySQL and SQLite. So if you want to use Azure SQL or Microsoft SQL, you will need to install and configure some additional tools. In this tutorial, we are going to start from a basic Django project, which we have already created using the Django admin command. And for those of you curious about our setup, we will be using Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL. This approach brings us closer to both Windows and Unix-based environments, giving you the flexibility to follow along regardless of your operating system. Here's our starting point, a fresh Django project. If you have never used Django before, don't worry, you can catch up by creating your own project using this command. So with that introduction out of the way, let's dive into the next step, setting up the tools and configurations we will need to connect our Django app to a Microsoft SQL database. Let's get started. Alright, now that we have our Django project set up, the first thing we need is a tool that enables Django to communicate with the Microsoft SQL database. For that, we will install the Python package called MS SQL Django. So what is MS SQL Django? It's a database backend for Django that allows us to use the Microsoft SQL Server, including Azure SQL, as our database. This package is officially maintained by Microsoft, which means it's reliable and well integrated into the ecosystem. To install it, simply run this command in your terminal. This will add the necessary tools to your Django project, so it knows how to work with Microsoft SQL databases. Now that we have installed this package, let's configure Django to use it. Open the settings.py file in your project and update the databases dictionary. Here is the configuration we will use. Let's break this down. Engine. This specifies the backend engine, which is MS SQL in our case. Name. This is the name of the database you want to connect to. Here it's test Azure SQL. A user and password. Your database credentials. For now, we are using the default SA user with the password we see on your screen. Host and port. This points to the database server, which is running locally on port 1473. Connection max age. This is the maximum duration Django should keep a database connection open. You've set it to 60 seconds for better performance. And finally, options. This contains additional settings like specifying the ODBC driver. Here we are using the latest ODBC driver 18 for SQL Server. Eight work. At this point, we have completed the Django side of things. We have installed the MS SQL Django package, configured our settings PY file, and our project is now ready to connect to a Microsoft SQL database. But there's one more thing we need to do before everything works smoothly. We still need to install the ODBC drivers that will handle the communication between Django and the MS SQL database. Without it, our setup won't be able to make the actual database connection. In the next chapter, we'll show you how to install and configure the ODBC driver so we can fully connect our Django app to the Microsoft SQL database. Let's get to it. Now that we have configured Django to use Microsoft SQL, it's time to install the ODBC driver. This is a critical piece, because it's what allows our Django application to communicate with the Microsoft SQL database. We will be following Microsoft official guide for installing the ODBC driver on Linux. Since we are using Ubuntu in WSL, we'll focus on that specific part of the guide. Now that the ODBC driver is installed, it's time to test our setup. Let's run the following command in your Django project directory to apply database migrations. If you see something like this, congratulations! Your Django project is now successfully connected to the Microsoft SQL database. To wrap things up, let's quickly recap what we have done today. We started by setting up a basic Django project. 
and configuring it to work with Microsoft SQL database using the MS SQL Django package. Then we installed the Microsoft ODBC driver, which is the key piece needed to connect Django to a Microsoft SQL or Azure SQL database. We configured settings in Settings PY, installed the MS SQL Django package, set up the ODBC driver and tested the connection by running Django migrations. If you have followed along, we now have a fully functional Django app connected to a Microsoft SQL database, ready for your next project. Now, in our next video, we are going to dive into authentication using Azure Identity for both local and Azure environments. I'll also show you how to create and use a custom database token class, which will help us authenticate users efficiently across both local and cloud-based environments. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.